What's going on everyone? Welcome back. We're going to be doing a little bit of a random video today and that's just because I'm working on so many projects right now that I don't have time to be making a crazy video each week because I'm spending a lot of my time filming those projects as well as working on them. So today we're going to have a bit of a random video. If you remember my previous house we actually had a terrarium shelf built into the window itself. Now I really like that design but unfortunately we can't do that here because there's not enough wall around the window and I probably could if I really tried but I, I don't want to take the time to do that. So what we're going to do is make a freestanding shelf that stands on the ground and goes all the way up to the ceiling and we'll have shelves like this with an open back in front of the window that we could put all the terrariums on and then underneath of it we'll have storage area or possibly I'm going to make it able to accommodate a 55 gallon aquarium but as we build it, we'll see how it goes. I, as you saw, I just had a ton of scrap wood. I don't really have a set design. I kind of sketched up something in the beginning of what I want it to look like, but we're just gonna take it as it goes. I'm not gonna build the entire thing in this video. I'm really just gonna take some measurements and then we'll revisit it at a later time. But I have some other cool stuff that I'm gonna show you guys in just a moment. Next we'll do a quick update on the 180 gallon plywood vivarium here. Uh, it's overall it's doing fairly well but I got a lot of new plants for it and that's going to get us one step closer to actually being able to put dart frogs in here. Now again even when adding these plants I still want to let it grow out a decent amount more so honestly we're probably not going to get them for another five six months something like that because I really want this to grow in but overall I do like its progress. The first thing that I want to do is just a little bit of maintenance on these plants. Trim off all of the dead sections here. And we will actually just throw it back in this corner here so that way the cleanup crew will actually eat it. Here's a new plant that I put in here. It's a Fetonia leather leaf. It's doing pretty well actually. It didn't really have too much acclimation die off, but some of these ones that are closer to the ground, because they're touching the ground, they're actually melting away. So I just want to cut those off. And I guess while we're over in this area doing some maintenance, I actually want to add a Begonia Rex right here. This is a new one that I had. I don't really have any that have this coloration. I have more of the pink and red ones. So I thought this one was pretty cool. I'm gonna put it right here. Dig down with my fingers. Drop it in and then loosely pack the substrate back over top of it. And that will help fill in a decent amount of this space. Next I have a Polonia repens. This is a pretty cool plant. It's actually called the trailing watermelon begonia. But we're gonna put it right in this section here because I kind of want it to grow up the wall and then up and around this stick here and possibly onto the fake vine. So we'll just stick it right there. And hopefully it likes that spot. Might be hard to tell from this angle, but I have a cryptanthus back here. I actually don't like it in this location, so I'm gonna take it out and move it elsewhere. And then in that area, I actually got a new plant, which is a Pilea peperomiotis. And this is a pretty cool plant. I like the nice round leaves to it. I think it will help add some cool texture in here. So if I'm lucky, I can just get it right in this spot here. It's not really filling in that space quite like I want it to, but as it grows in, uh, I kind of want a leaf here, a leaf here, just really helping to fill in some of that negative space there. 
Uh, but I actually have another section of this plant that I will put right here as well. This area over here has seen better days. It just needs thinned out a little bit. It just grew in so thick that it kind of choked itself out. So I'm just gonna peel off all this dead stuff. Right back in here is where we'll add the tiger cub. So what I'm gonna do is get my tweezers here and just poke a little hole into the foam and then stick the bromeliad in just like that. And then over time it will root and look pretty cool. And that cryptanthus that we took out earlier, I'm gonna put it right back in here so it actually didn't move too far from where it was originally. Go right there. Just like the look of it in that spot. And right in this area is quite empty, but as much as I wanna add a plant there, I need to just be patient because if you remember on the original build video, I said that I put a maidenhair fern here. And if you look real close right here, you can see a bunch of new sections where it's growing up again. So long-term, we're gonna have a nice maidenhair fern here again. It's just, that plant is quite temperamental and once it gets into a new environment, pretty much the whole thing will die off. And then if it likes the new environment, it's gonna grow back. So luckily it likes this setup. So given time, we'll have a big fern right in this area. I've got a new one that I wanna add right here. And what I've got is Pilea microphylla. And it has a lot of little leaves on it, some nice texture. So I think it's gonna look pretty nice right here over here i'm also going to add another pilea peperomiotis and if you remember i had a, another syngonium podophyllum right here i have one there but i had another one right here for whatever reason it didn't do so well so hopefully this pilea wants to take I'm gonna add another Polonia repens right in this side. I've also got another Begonia rex that I'm gonna sneak right back here. With each update and new plant and different things that I do with this setup, it's just getting closer and closer to my vision that I have for it. That said, it's not quite there yet. There's definitely a lot that I still wanna do that I haven't done yet. There's a lot of plants that I wanna get that I haven't got yet. And just, you know, it's not quite ready for animals yet. I want this to be 100% all that I'm doing from the point that I put animals in here is just trimming down the plants and maintaining them in that way. I don't wanna be rearranging anything. I don't wanna be adding new plants. I don't want to be subtracting plants, all that stuff. Really, I just want to be doing the general maintenance on this. So I really just want to take my time, let it grow out and just get to the point where I really feel satisfied with this before I add the animals. So that's what I've got for you guys this week. I know that it was a totally random video, but as I said in the beginning, I've got so much stuff going on right now that my time is really being invested in those bigger projects and even a lot of stuff behind the scenes that I'm not talking about that you guys aren't gonna see and that you're probably never gonna see. It's just a lot is going on right now, so I'm still in a transitional phase to where I'm not able to produce these crazy projects each week, but hopefully we can get ourselves to that point once again. And uh, yeah, so that's what I've got for you guys this week. If you didn't like it, then get out of here, but come back next week because we want you to come back. And that's all I got for you guys. See you later. And I thought that, oh, I thought this was his head. I thought the tail was his head, but he's right there. What's up, man? Dean, just hanging. See you guys later. Peace.